Revenge Films. I lost my father when I was really young, and ever since then, my mother has been raising me all by herself. I've tried my best to support her as well, and when her financial situation worsened because of my father's medical bills, I got a part-time job to help make ends meet. However, because of that, I was never a good student at school. I never finished high school, and I ended up as a middle school graduate. I'm currently working full-time at this IT company, but my boss has been making fun of me recently because he found out that I never graduated from high school. Sure, I might not be that smart. I might not be great at my job either, but I've always been a hard worker and I was doing as well as everyone else. But my boss kept on picking on me for being a middle school graduate and the other day said this to me. You're stupid and utterly useless, so you should have been a janitor or something. I have no idea why we ended up hiring you. You're a waste of space. He was clearly trying to piss me off. I was obviously insulted by his comments, but more than that, I was embarrassed to have been exposed like this in front of all of my coworkers. Eventually, the bullying got so bad that tears started flowing from my eyes. I quickly ran into the bathroom and hid in there for the rest of the day. And so that weekend, I headed to the nearby mall to do some shopping. I've always loved shopping because it helps me relax and keep my mind off of all the bad things that are happening in my life. But that's when I encountered this shocking situation. When I arrived at the shopping mall, I immediately noticed an old woman sitting on the ground outside by herself. It was hot out that day, so she probably had a heat stroke. I immediately helped her up and made sure that she stayed hydrated. Thank you. No, it's all right. Could you wait here for a second? I'm going to get you some water. I'll also get a wet towel for you so you can cool down. I then brought the old woman to an area with shade and helped her sit down. I gave her a bottle of water and a wet handkerchief to cool her down and asked her if she needed me to take her to the hospital. It's all right. Someone's going to pick me up soon. So, I waited for her friend to arrive and said goodbye. It was definitely hot out that day, but I was able to cool myself down inside the shopping mall. There was also a cafe inside, so I grabbed a cold drink to keep myself hydrated and healthy. But anyway, the next day, when I went back to the office, my boss continued to make fun of me for being a middle school graduate. No one else cared about my education history, but for some reason, my boss seemed to be obsessed with it. He even brought it up in front of one of our clients that was visiting our office that day. This was the conversation we had in front of him. Uh, you made the exact same mistake as last time. How are you not embarrassed of yourself? What? But that wasn't me, I swear. My boss showed me a document that he thought I worked on, but I didn't even know about its existence until just now. But my boss ignored me, grinned, and started bashing me. <sighs> this is why I hate working with middle school graduates. They're so incompetent and efficient, and they piss me off. I really can't fathom how you managed to get this job. It's unbelievable. But I wasn't the one that worked on the document. It was someone else. So you're blaming other people for your own mistakes now, huh? That's ridiculous. You should be ashamed of yourself right now. High school dropouts are so irresponsible. The client looked in our direction and started whispering something to one of my coworkers. Uh, if he wanted to embarrass me in front of that client, then he did a good job. He seemed to be having a lot of fun picking on me, but I just felt sad and powerless. When I knew it, tears were rolling down my cheeks. That's when my boss said this to me. You think crying is gonna solve everything? Well, you're wrong. You know what? You need to quit your job. You're fired. No way. Well, you deserve to be fired. You're an incompetent high school dropout and you don't deserve to be here. I was so insulted by his words that I was about to walk out of the office when... Hey, what's going on here? I recognize his voice from somewhere. I swear I've heard it before. And when I looked back, I saw the old woman from the shopping mall standing right behind me. Oh, 
You're the girl that helped me at the shopping mall. That's when she walked up to me and asked me this. Huh? What's going on? Why are you crying? I didn't understand why the old woman from the shopping mall was here in my office, but I couldn't ask her anything because I was still so taken aback by all the things that my boss had said to me. And that's when she took out a handkerchief from my pocket and wiped my tears away. Here, use this. It's the handkerchief that you gave me the other day at the shopping mall. I was hoping I could see you again so I could give it back to you. And then she went up to one of my coworkers and asked him why I was crying in the middle of the office. When I looked over to my boss, I noticed that his face had gone pale. He seemed mortified and mumbled. <sighs> How the hell do you know the chairwoman? Well, this little girl saved my life the other day when I had a heat stroke. But anyway, you told me that you made fun of this poor girl for being a middle school graduate. Is that true? Well, um, wait a minute. You said she did what for you? That's when the old woman started explaining to him what I did for her the other day at the shopping mall. But the story didn't end when the old woman's friend picked her up from the shopping mall. The old woman wasn't actually the only person that I helped that day. On the same day, I called an ambulance for a pregnant woman whose water broke on the train. And a few days ago, I gave a bandage to a little girl that cut her knees at the playground. And believe it or not, it turns out that that pregnant woman is the old woman's daughter. And the little girl I helped at the playground is one of the old woman's granddaughters. They both asked for my name before I said goodbye to them. So that's how she knew that I was the one that helped her family. What were the chances? I couldn't believe it at first. But I guess his revelation was even more shocking for my boss. Because he started panicking in front of us. So, going back to what we were talking about. You've been bullying this poor girl for being a high school dropout, haven't you? To be honest with you, I don't care what her final level of education is. I know for certain that she's a kind-hearted person, and that's more than I can say about you. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. I was wrong. And so, my boss got down on the ground and started begging me for forgiveness. But I wasn't going to forgive him just because he apologized to me. And after that, the old woman dragged me to the CEO's office for some reason. There, the CEO thanked me for helping both the chairwoman and her daughter. Apparently, the CEO is married to the chairwoman's daughter, and the little girl that I helped is their daughter. The chairwoman then told him about how I'd been fired by my boss mere minutes ago, to which he replied, y You're kidding me, right? That's ridiculous. You're not fired. We want you to keep on working for us. He then apologized to me for what my boss said and did to me. I'm so glad that he's more understanding than my boss. He knew that someone had helped his wife and their daughter, but he had no idea that that was me. What a turn of events. I thought my time with this company was over just a couple of minutes ago, but now both the chairwoman and the CEO love me. Thank you so much for helping my wife and our daughter. My wife told me that you practically saved her life the other day, and I can't thank you enough for that. Is it possible for you to meet with her? I'm sure she would love to thank you again in person. Well, I'm glad both her and her baby are all right. That's when the chairwoman chimed in and said this. A person's level of education can be important. But it's definitely not the most important thing about someone. You're kind and caring, and that's way more important than which school you went to. I was so glad to hear that, that I started crying on the spot. And so, I was able to keep my job while my boss was fired for abusing and harassing me. When the chairwoman told him that he was being fired, he just stood there with his mouth open for a couple of minutes. He was so shocked and devastated that he couldn't even say anything. I didn't think they would fire him, but the CEO told me that he didn't want someone like him representing our company. A couple of days later, I was invited over to the chairwoman's house for a dinner party. I was skeptical about the chairwoman's story at first, so I was shocked when the woman from the train and the little girl from the playground welcomed me into their home. Again, what were the chances? But thanks to this insane coincidence, I was able to establish a strong bond with the chairwoman and her family. And now that my boss is gone, 
I'm able to work more freely and comfortably. I'm studying to become a certified accountant now, and hopefully I'll be able to acquire the skills and know-how to help my company grow even further. The chairwoman and I are great friends now, and I always go out for drinks with our family after work. The other day, the chairwoman's daughter finally had her baby, and she invited me to her home so I could meet and hold him. He was the cutest thing in the world, and I am so glad that I was able to help save his and his mother's life. I'm very proud of myself for that. But what a turnaround, am I right? I guess the moral of the story is, always be willing to help others out. You never know how it might end up benefiting you. Oh yeah, and by the way, I heard on a rumor that my former boss is having a hard time finding a new job. The chairwoman told all of her colleagues and business partners about what he used to say and do to me, so no one in the industry is willing to hire him. Ha! Take that! How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.